Are all FTP services created the same? Well, I don't think so. Uh, recently, I had a uh, FTP uh, upload user contact me and said, "You're not get, we're not getting all the speed we're supposed to. Uh, we've got uh, two different Comcast modems, coax modems that we sandwich together with SD-WAN. Each of them has 20 meg upload. You sandwich them together, you're supposed to get 40 megs upload. But when uh, we tried, when uh, the user tried to upload it to a FTP server, give it to him by a client, he just didn't get anywhere close to 40 megs upload. And he was sitting around babysitting a file upload. It never got the speed he thought. So, of course, he put in a complaint. And so it's not our FTP server. So we didn't know whether um, we had a uh, FileZilla set up wrong or there was something wrong with a file or maybe Comcast was uh, throttling us. We really uh, took Comcast to uh, task, but turns out they weren't throttling us. Uh, and so we then had to set up some benchmark FTP services to find out if it was our client's FTP server or it was something else. Uh, so we set up two benchmarks, one with GoDaddy FTP. We called GoDaddy. Uh, we've been doing business with them for quite some time, and they said, oh, well, you can't get unlimited speed with a shared FTP hosting, but if you get our VPS, a virtual private server uh, account, then you can get, you know, upload at 250 megs uh, per second. We go, okay, well, sign us up for that test. And then we fished around, and we ran into uh, hosted ftp.com and uh, I called them on Labor Day at 10 o'clock at night and believe it or not someone answered next thing you know I'm talking to a uh, sales engineer literally at 10 o'clock at night long story short they hooked us up with a test account they told us all about their AWS Amazon cloud of course we heard similar stuff from uh, GoDaddy so we've decided we're going to compare our uh, clients upload to uh, two um, theoretically unlimited FTP uh, service providers, GoDaddy and HostedFTP.com. Uh, because what we learn is you may have 40 megs upload, but if the FTP uh, um, server that you're trying to upload into won't allow a 40 meg upload, then you're only going to get what they allow. So let's show you what we got. The first one is uh, GoDaddy. So we will go into GoDaddy. All right, we are into GoDaddy, and then I'm going to launch a here's the 16 gig file. So let's see what we get on the GoDaddy service. Okay, now if we go over to our SD-WAN, you can start to see what kind of throughput that you we are getting. All right. And then up here, it looks like it's 1.3 megabytes per second. Okay, so you can see what we're getting on the GoDaddy service. I can I confirm the um, uh, IP address here, and this is really it. So 1.3 um, megabytes per second which you multiply that times eight. And what we're getting uh, the go, even though we can upload at 40 megs, we're only able to get into the GoDaddy VPS um, server at uh, 10.4 megs, all right? So I can't conclusively say that GoDaddy is throttling, but I'm not getting 250 megs upload. So now we'll go ahead and cancel this. So also, you can kind of see how the, uh, you know, going into GoDaddy is, it's not a very steady stream. So uh, I don't know if there's something to do with the route or what have you. So uh, 
again, you want to do a similar sort of test with whatever FTP provider uh, you know you're trying to get into. So now what we're going to do is we're going to kill this. Stop and remove all. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to get into the hosted FTP. All right, and then we will get that file started. and see what kind of file throughput we get. Okay, so now, let me just... Now, see what uh, the difference can be. All right, so now with um, hosted FTP, I'm getting full upload uh, on both streams. This is what it looked like on GoDaddy. GoDaddy said I could get full, I could upload to my heart's content, there's no problems. And that's what it looked like on GoDaddy. And this is what it looks like on hosted FTP. I'm getting 5.3 megabytes. Take uh, 5.3 times 8, that is 42.4 uh, megs megabytes per second upload. All right, which is four times as fast as what I was getting with um, the GoDaddy uh, VPS FTP. Now, believe it or not, both services cost pretty much about the same. Uh, so uh, there is a huge difference in uh, FTP uh, service providers. So if you want to get, if you're having problems with your FTP, all right, I'm not saying GoDaddy's bad, but I'm saying you have to set up some benchmarks. And we set up a benchmark with GoDaddy VPS FTP. And we set up a benchmark with hostedftp.com. And hostedftp.com said the way their network is set up with AWS, uh, it's a beautiful world. And so we got everything, we were able to upload at the exact max speed that our internet connections allowed us. And so we know that is the best. Now we can contact our client and say, look, you know, we're having trouble uploading to your FTP server. Do you mind if we use mine? And then what you do is you set up an account with hosted FTP, you upload all day long, you're going four times faster, and then just send the FTP access uh, to your client and then that way everybody wins because clearly they probably don't know they have a, a bad FTP client or maybe it's just not set up well or like with GoDaddy um, VPS maybe it's set up uh, incorrectly or who knows trust me I spent lots of hours on the phone with GoDaddy customer service trying to get this fixed and they just kept telling me no, 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 it's Comcast is throttling you, it's not us, it's Comcast. Or it's the way you've got the FileZilla set up, or they had everything under the sun, or it's your network. Uh, and then what I finally found is when I set up a benchmark with uh, hostedftp.com, I could see that Comcast was telling the truth. They're not throttling. I was able to deliver it at the Comcast speed in the hosted FTP, that's the benchmark, and everything else is less than that. And if you're getting everything with hosted FTP, I mean, just hang with them until you find something that goes even even better, even faster. I hope this helps you solve your FTP problems.